Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Amen. See, that gift is coming upon people. Amen. You know, there's some people here that have some unfinished dreams and goals that God wants to bring forth out of you. Because let me tell you what, God wants to use each one of you to reach people that other people cannot reach. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? See, for myself, I go in the alley. I go in the alley and I can talk to people. Other people can't go in the alley. But you could. Amen. You know, the Word of God says in the book of Joel, chapter, it's in chapter 2 of Acts. It also speaks about that in, in the book of Acts. It says, And not that I will pour my spirit upon all people. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Even on my men's servants and my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days. That's right. See, people, you go to YouTube right now, you see a little 10 year old, a little 5 year old preaching the gospel. Yes, you do. You, you, you want to know how Christ is so, um, so um, near to us? When you begin to see kids prophesying to their parents, when you begin to see a three year old raising up their hands to God looking at somebody, we know who they're looking at. And you see kids, little babies are, are looking at, you know what they're looking at? They're looking at Jesus. Amen. Yeshua. They're looking at God. Amen. They're looking at angels. Mm -hmm. That's how near is Christ. God is at the door. You know, we were saying a little earlier, you know, we're in the end times, people. So many things are happening left and right. So many prophecies are being fulfilled, just like Sister Clarice was saying. I was sharing this a couple of weeks ago that the, the river Euphrates is being dry, dried up. God's drying it up. And under that river, there are demons that are locked up under that river. See, in the days of Adam and Eve, that, there were four rivers that watered the garden of Adam and Eve. But those are being taken. They're still there, but they're dried up. But now you have the great river Euphrates that God is drying up for one reason. For the 200 million soldiers, foot soldiers are going to come from the east. The kings of the east are going to go to that dry riverbed to Israel. And that river is almost dried up completely. Speaks about that in the book of Revelations. Oh, but we don't want to get serious. We think that it's, it's okay to keep on partying, keep on having fun, keep on playing church. God is showing us signs after signs. So much earthquakes are taking place. Mountains of, 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 of houses and people are falling into the sea. So much disaster. I mean, look what happened to, to Morocco the other day. Turkey the other day. So much things are taking place like never before. So much famines are taking place because our waters are being poisoned. You look at the at the, at the, at the seashore, at the sand bed, all kinds of millions of fishes are dying. So many things are burning up, but we still can't even wake up and take God so lightly. All oh, that just Mother Nature. There ain't no mother nature. God said this is going to happen. That's right. And you know why he's doing these things? You know why he's allowing these things to happen? For the church. Not for the ones that are ready. For the ones that left him, left him. The backslider. God is married to the backslider. Because us Christians are the most informed people of the planet. We know what the word of God says. We know that we should be ready. Be repentful. Amen. Be armed and dangerous against the enemy. We know that we should be these people. So he allow, he's allowing all these signs and wonders to come before your eyes that you can wake up the backslider. Because remember, people, the wicked are going to be judged. But God wrote this word not for the not for the people out there, not for the wicked. He read He wrote this word for us, His people, His very own people. Amen. That's why it says, to the right, I'm going to gather my sheep, and to the left, I'm going to gather. Remember the wheat and then the weeds. You have children of God and you have children of Satan. And those that wicked, live in wickedness without repenting and don't acknowledge God, what Jesus Christ has done for us on the cross, those are the sons of the wicked. And that's why God is raising up people that will take a stand. Sister Clarice, 
She don't tell you how old is she, but the reason why she's up here to finish her unfinished goal, her dreams and goals. Amen? Amen? Amen. Because if nobody else is going to blow the horn, so is she. She's going to blow the horn. See, in this church, we give everybody an opportunity. If you have something inside of you, if you have some, some rubies and jewels that, that need to come out of you, come and share it with us. Amen. Amen? Come and share it with us, what God has given you. And you'll be ready. You'll be ready. Because you won't be ready to come back here if you have sin in your life and compromise. But you'll be ready the day that call, God calls you to come up here and give us a message. Amen? Amen? People of God, we're in the end time, people. We're in the end time. God's going to begin to show you guys visions and dreams. Amen? We see all these taking place, people. Remember, the 18th, which is what, Monday? Yes, Monday. All the United Nations are getting together to talk about the, the peace agreement. The Bible says in that day, in the book of Thessalonians, it says, for when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as to rear upon the woman with child, and they shall not escape. That's right. Amen. See? They say peace and safety, but it's not going to be a peace and safety. That's right. Amen. We don't know when the seven years of tribulations is going to manifest, but I know it's around the corner. Mm -hmm. We don't know when the Antichrist is going to appear, but there is an Antichrist spirit here in the earth already. Because when a man beats down a woman, has an antichrist spirit. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. So I encourage each one of you people, and I said this in the beginning, let's get ready, people. Let's get ready and prepared. Let's be armed and dangerous against the enemy. Amen. 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 People tell me, Pastor Randy, how come you go to church all the time? I'm indebted to God. God did so much miracles in my life, I no longer go to jail. Now I can go to jail and visit and come back the same day. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Before I used to go in there for years. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the sheriffs are telling me, the cops, you'll be back. I go, I have a living outside. My heart and my living is not to live in here. I'll never come back. And now when I went back there not so long ago to go pick up some people, they seen me. They tell me, you were telling the truth, huh, Randy? Yeah, because my life is to be out there with God and my family. Amen. Amen. I share this with people. Me and Sandy was talking about this. This is my wife back there. But I bring Sandy. My wife comes after us. Then once we break the, the spiritual law, the legal law, and now it's after us. Because if we break God's word, we're going to break the legal law. So let's not break, let's not get away or reject God's spiritual law. Then you'll be able to follow the legal law. Amen? Because remember, God made the legal law also. Amen? And uh, it's a blessing to have this wonderful family here that just showed up a little while ago, 50, 20 minutes ago. That's why people, man, miracles, people. Miracles happen. Amen? Some of the families didn't show up. God blessed them. But look, at God brought a family today. And we get to meet and we get to say hi to and welcome them, amen, to see their smiling faces, to see their children here. And you know what, people? Remember, the reason why we have this ministry is not for us. Hey, we're, we're, it's almost time for us to go. I mean, I got probably 60 more years. I just clean. 120, get it? Hey, that's right. Amen. But uh, the, the church that we have here is for our children. God's going to pour the oil on somebody here. We have my daughter-in-law here that has a passion to serve God, to preach the gospel. Amen. It's a gift. It's the oil, the anointing. Amen. Her and her son, I heard my son, my son comes up here and gets it set up for me now. I don't have to set it up no more. He comes and set it up for me, turns on the air condition. God is gifting people. See, you don't have to, you don't have to preach the gospel to have a gift. Your gifts are your hands. The Bible said that a man's gift, which is your gift of working, a man's gift will bring you before great men. Are you listening? Praise the Lord. And you know who that great man is? It's Jesus Christ. The King of Glory. But God's going to bring you for working for him to be to being in his team to do something, to build his church. Amen. God is not looking for a 10,000 member church. Right. 
The Bible says it's looking for two or three that will be gathered in his name. Amen. 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 See, we, we can do, people, I'm telling you, if you have a 10,000 member church, you only got 100 that are really committed. Are you listening? You got 100 that are really committed praying for all the rest of the 10,000 to get saved. Huh? And I said this before, we're not a prosperity, we're not going to preach no prosperity message. Huh? We're not going to have jets in, 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 the, in the garage or Rolls Royce in the garage. Huh? We're going to tell the truth about Jesus Christ. Amen. We're going to teach the fear of the Lord. And we're going to teach how to repent and, and stay saved. And tell people that they need to have their name put in the book of life. Because the Bible says that any name not found written in the book of life will cast to everlasting fire. Amen. We want to make sure that everybody's name is written in the book. Amen. Let's all stand and say this prayer with me. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to repeat this word after me. Remember people. Saying the sinner's prayer is not going to keep you saved. It's your walk with God every day. Amen? Amen. But this opens up the callous heart and it makes it to a fertilized heart that we can receive the instructions of the Lord. Amen? Say, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. I confess with my mouth that I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. I do believe, I do believe that, you died on the cross that you died on the cross for my sins, for my, sins. my compromise, my compromise. My bad attitude. My bad behavior. My bad behavior. Jesus, I surrender. I surrender to you right now. I surrender to you right now. I ask you for your mercy. ask you for your mercy. And your forgiveness to be upon me. And I apply the blood of Yeshua. I apply the blood of Yeshua. Upon my soul right now. Upon my soul right now. Jesus. Jesus. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. I give you my love. I give you my love. To be my only lover. To be my only lover. My true lover. My true lover. I give you my past. I give you my past. My present. My present. And my future. And my future. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For letting me for letting me, for letting me be here today, be here today, today to hear your word, to hear your word. We thank you, we thank you, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. We all said, Amen. Amen. But church is dismissed, Amen. And you know what, people of God, we, we, we have next, we have church service next Sunday at one o'clock. Be prepared. Bring an involved. Bring a not law, Amen. Bring somebody. Bring a family. Bring a friend. Go ahead, brother. I brought a guitar. We do scripture songs. Would you like us to sing a song? Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on now. Oh. We're, still, we're still early. We're still on time. We're still on time.